All right, Dave here. Got my CCM D11 dozer finally after a long time. Talked to Gary when they were having little problems with the shipping and problems with the packaging and damaged product. So mine was shipped back to him. He took care of it and this is what I got. So let's start to open it up and see. Um, somebody wanted to know the dimensions of the box. Kind of close. So it is, let's see, one foot. One foot seven inches, eh, about two foot one inch, and one foot two inch. All right, that takes care of that guy who wanted to know the measurements. Well, let's get into this and see what it looks like. All right, I guess we'll just top, very nice. Cut the tape. I picked this up at UPS the other day. Instead of having them bring it to the house. Maybe less hands the better. Just in case. Well, they did a good job this time of fragile and handle with care. All right, that's All right, so this is the 124 D11. We gotta do a little new unboxing here with the um, on the bucket of the Ford 655C. I had a little more pain in the neck, but. All right, so here's what the inside looks like of the box. No serial numbers on it yet. All right, let's try to get this thing out of here. A little pain in the butt. All right, one box done. know if these things are sold out or not. I had a bunch of problems with them so that kind of really hurt the business there for a little bit. All right, there's the nice looking box in there. All right, how are we going to do this? I'll just cut this side and push it. Anybody else have any issues with their models that they got? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know what they did about it or, you know. I like Gary, he's very nice over there. Okay, so far so good. These are real nice boxes, these black ones. Okay, that box is done. Now I will put a piece of wood over the bucket and do that. Now I think he went through this model Made sure it was good. Redid everything. Okay. Here we go. Coming up. And here we go again. Let's see what do we got here. Little Allen for the hydraulics. 
little paper. All right, I'll show you what it looks like in there. So we have the Allen and he taped up everything. He was making sure nothing's going wrong. So the last model I got, I think the stack was broke, lights were broke off, railings were broke. So, but it was no big deal, I fixed it up. I'm not a real collector, so other people would be upset about it, but I wasn't, so. All right, here we go. Told them too. Oh boy. Well, nothing I can do about it now. I really don't want to call them back and say, hey, you gave me the wrong one, and then ship it back and then get the other one. I did talk to them on the phone and said I already had this one. Oh boy. Oh well, that sucks. All right, well, what can you do? I could do that, but well, I'll just deal with it, I guess. It sucks to have the same two. Ugh. Oh, this zip tie is pretty strong. All right, well, here's what we got. Little serial number not valid. Interesting. Huh. Wonder what's up with that. All the problems he had, he knows I'm not a collector, so maybe he didn't really care about a, a number on it. All right. Okay, let's get that off of there. See the blade. See my cutters really stink and can't even cut that thing. All right, that. Nice piece. Fit right in there. I think I have this one. I'm gonna have to check. Huh, I don't know. All right, I'll check in my next video. I'll uh, get the other one out and D10s out and I'll put them all together and check them out. But yeah, nice details on the stickers. Nice paint jobs. Real nice paint job. Everything's nice in order. Railings are in good shape. The problem he had last time is he had zip ties on these things all over. And then he claims that they fell or people are dropping them and then breaking the zip ties causing them to fall and break the tops of things. So, all right, so we got a nice cord that's not going to break anymore. Nice little screw and yeah, so that's a good design. All right, I'm going to get the rest of this out, take it in, got to put the cylinders together, just take these off and slide it in. Another ram down there. And then it'll be all done. 
Yeah, this is beautiful, this looking one here. Very nice, very nice looking. Everything is flawless pretty much on it that I could see. Yes, very nice this one. Perfect condition. Absolutely beautiful. Nice little sticker there. Lights. Lights up there in the cab. All the lines are in good shape. Perfect order. The lock, that's nice, nothing broke. My last one, this thing here was broke. And then some lights were off. And a little lines on a cooler, maybe AC. Um, nice little stickers. And everything back in the ripper for the hydraulics. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to go see if I already have this one or not. All right. Thumbs up on the unboxing. Tell me your thoughts. And I'll make another one soon with all of them together. And we'll compare them. All right, Dave out. Oh. And the Wayne Roy detachable angled bucket there. Created something new. Just put it on that just for giggles, you know. Nice aggressive teeth on the bucket. All right, Dave out.